All right, so this is our bottle with our butterflies. I've let this dry overnight just to make sure everything is all completely dry. And it is, and it's gorgeous. I love it. So um, the next thing I'm going to do, and this is optional. You don't have to do this. It's just something I like to do is I like to antique it with something. I either use a bronze rub or I'll, I'm going to try this today. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're going to try it. This is the Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. I use this on all kinds of stuff, so I'm going to try it on this today and see what it does. I just want to make it look a little more antique in some places. Like maybe it's older in some areas and that that seems to be doing the trick. I like it. So I am going to continue on with that. And I'm just going to rub this in random spots. around the bottle kind of around our designs here just wherever I feel like doing it I like finding new ways to use things you know that I have in my stash I usually use this for journaling, you know, I color paper with it, but why does it just have to be for paper, you know, why can't it be for bottles, and it can, and I like it, I think it's doing pretty good what I want it to do, so, yay, and I don't think I need to do anything more than that, I mean, that looks pretty good to me, I think it looks nice, so what I'm going to do next is I might just put a little bit up here around the neck of the bottle because I saw a little spot that I didn't like. Okay, and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm just going to seal it. Since I put that ink on there, the, um, the stress oxide, I'm going to seal it with my varnish. This is my gloss water-based varnish that I get at Hobby Lobby. I like to use this. This is what I, this is my go-to. And, you know, I didn't get a container out for this, so I'm just going to like, Pour a little bit on, and of course it's going to go everywhere, but I'm just going to get it and just brush it on. Actually, I'm going to hold this up here. I've got it everywhere now. <laughs> Note to self, get containers out. But like I said, I'm, I'm a messy crafter, so whatever. <laughs> if it gets everywhere, it'll clean up. I just want to try to get it on your, you know, without wasting too much of it. I wasn't prepared to do this properly. But, you know, I'm just putting on one thin coat of it just to kind of seal that ink in place. Oh, it's dripping, so let's get the part that's dripping. Make sure you go around the whole thing. I'm not putting anything on the bottom now, and I'm probably going to put some felt on the bottom of this bottle. And I'll explain why later that I like to do that. But yeah, this is good. Okay, so we've got the varnish on here. I've got the Tim Holtz um, ink on there. I love how that looks. Absolutely love it. So I'm going to let this dry. And I'm going to give it just a little bit, and then we'll be back to do what's next. Right, our bottle is dry and it's really pretty. We're gonna make it even prettier. Um, so what we're gonna do next is just decorate it um, with our bling and our trims. Um, I have already got this cut to the right size. This is my um, lace that I'm gonna be using around the bottom of it, and I've already measured it and trimmed it. I've cut a length of my jute. Um, this this roll I've I've cut a length of that that will be plenty long um, and I have also cut a piece of my uh, pearl chain that I'm going to be using I've 
prepared my flowers. I've got everything, you know, and I've trimmed my, um, I've trimmed my lace. The part that I want to use, it was like this and I trimmed this off. So I'm just going to be using this part here. The only thing I really have left to trim is going to be our, um, this thing. I'm not using this whole entire thing, although that would be really pretty, but it's so heavy. I don't think I can use the whole entire thing and I've got other things I want to put on here. So I want to use this rhinestone piece is what I want to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get this off of here. I'm just going to clip it off. And this is what I do a lot of times for bling. I just, I take pieces of things and use them. So I'm going to set this part aside and we're going to use this. And so now, um, I'm not going to trim the post off of the back of this earring because this is actually going to help me. I'm going to probably, um, glue it and stick it inside one of these little flowers here, um, is what my plan is. We'll see how that works, but the post is going to help me to keep this on the flower. So I'm going to leave that post on there and I'm going to start by putting my trim on the bottom. And for this part, I like to use mostly E6000, although <laughs> this is just about had it, I think. It's just about a goner, so I may have to switch to this tube, which is white. I'm going to try to avoid that, though. We're going to use this as much as possible. Maybe just exhaust this little tube here and hope I don't run out. And so, yeah... I'm just going to start putting this on here. I like E6000 really well because once it dries, it's, you know, it's set. It's not going anywhere. So it's really kind of my preferred glue. I thought I had another tube here somewhere, but I can't find it, so... I might have just imagined buying another tube. That could very well be the case. And I think I'm going to have to use my white glue. Probably after this, I'm going to switch to the white. I don't think it's going to show anyway. Probably not. Yeah, this is just about how that's so that's a goner and we're going to switch to this one. All right, but what I want to do now, this is the front of my bottle, so I'm going to turn this around to the back pretty much. And so I'm going to put a dot of hot glue here. And this is where I'm going to start. Let's put that a little higher because I want it to go about right there really is where I want it. That's okay. It'll hold. And then I'm going to go ahead and get that off and then we're going to go ahead and just start pulling this on around. Hope y'all can see. I think I might've gotten out of frame there for a second. Okay, and I think I'm going to have to maybe and do this. Maybe not. I'm just going to stretch it. And then I'm going to glue this one down. Right there. I'm going to add a little more hot glue since I kind of missed the mark on that first spot that I put on there. And then that will hold that in place just like so. There. And that's pretty. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply this one. And this one I'm going to kind of wrap around up here. I hope hope you can kind of see what I plan on doing with that because I've got my design is going to kind of go this way around you know this this way is kind of what I'm intending on doing so I'm gonna 
start this up here and kind of start that, you know, angle with, with this particular piece right here. So, all right, so I'm going to set that and then let me just go ahead and get this, see if I can get this one going. It might be a little clogged up from the last time I used it. Okay, finally decided to try to work for me, so we are back in business. And so I've got some glue on here. I'm going to add just a little bit more, and then we're going to position this on here where it needs to go. All right, let's get this. Around this direction here. Kind of wrap it around that way. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I am going to glue it with hot glue in a couple of spots just to ensure that it stays put. Once the E6000 dries, it's not going to go anywhere. But I don't want it to go anywhere until then, so I'm securing it down with, with some hot glue. Pretty okay, so our glue stringy. Okay, the next thing you can kind of see where I put that, and it looks real pretty. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this butterfly. I think I'm gonna put it. Do I want it to go this way or this way? I think I'm going to put it going this way. I think that will be pretty. So let me go ahead and get some glue on here. Okay, and then we'll get it where we want it. We'll overlap that a little bit. That's pretty. And again, I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue so that it stays. One little dab on all four quarters. Let me get the butterfly. Butterfly. I love butterflies. Okay. And that is pretty. Might put just a little dab here too. Make sure that lays good. Okay. Pretty, pretty. Alrighty, and now we're going to do some more butterflies, I think. I've got three of these. And since I've got the white one up here, I'm probably going to put this one down here, either blue or purple. I'm going to put that purple. Or blue, blue or purple, blue or purple. I don't know which one. 
mention a big uh, I kind of like the blue so I think I'm gonna put blue here right here I'm not putting this all over. I'm just going to put it around the edge of the butterfly. You don't have to put it everywhere. Because as long as your edges are stuck down, that's that's the main thing. The rest, it, it's going to stay after this dries, I promise you. It's not going to go anywhere. And this one's smaller, so I probably am not going to use the hot glue. Probably won't need to. All right, so this one I decided I was going to put right here. Yeah, that's going to hold just fine. And you really can't see the white glue, so that's, that's going to be fine. Once that dries, you're not going to even know. And that's really pretty right there. So um, let's see. I've got two more that I want to use. I'm probably going to put the white one in the back because I've got this white one up here on front. So we'll do this one. And I'm gonna kind of make them go in like opposite directions. Let's see. So I want him, he's kind of bare spot right here. I think I'll put him up here. Let's see which side is he. Yeah, this is the back side. I think I'll stick him right there. It'd be pretty. Because there's kind of a spot there that doesn't have anything. Sometimes the hardest part about these projects is deciding where you want everything to go. And I have extra butterflies over there. I may use an extra one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if it needs anything else. It may not. Okay, now I got this going. I don't want to leave the lid off of it because then it'll clog up again. Okay. I made a mess with this one, but that's okay. It's all white, so it's really not going to matter. And let's see which way do I have. Okay, I'm going to put this one going. I've got this butterfly going this way, so I'm going to put this one going this direction. Like that. Yeah, I like it. That's pretty. Okay, and then let's see. I'm going to glue stringy there. This one... Okay, that just won't go away, will it? This one can go here. I think I would like it to go right there. So we don't have anything here, so you know I'm kind of putting these where you know there's not anything is what I'm is what I'm aiming to do here. So and that's not going to stay, so we're just going to go ahead and we'll roll it back where it needs to go. Which way is the front and which is the back? This is the back. Okay. It's hard to tell sometimes on these little appliques which is the front and which is the back. It's usually the shiny side's the front, so that's kind of what I look for. Messy, messy. That's part of crafting. Just getting stuff everywhere. Okay, that's good. And then we're going to stick this one right here. Yeah. 
that's pretty. And see, there's our front. And that looks really good. I love it. That's so pretty. Okay. And then we still have one back here. All right. If I want to put something else here, I can. But right now, I'm just going to... Um, you know, I have this little thing. I could just put this little doodad right here. But I know. I think I'll just wait. All right. And so now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my, this is going to go on the top of here. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail and I'm just going to wrap this part because I've got something else to wrap around that area. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of my E6000 up here. I'm going to turn it to the back. And I'm really just going to put this around. That's pretty much all we're going to need to do. And then so I'm going to start it back here. I'm leaving a little tail. And I'm just going to start wrapping it around. Can't really see what I'm doing on the other side, but I don't care if if it's shabby chic, that's perfect. That's my goal. And we can straighten it out anyways, since we're using the E6000 and we're not using the hot glue at this point, because you can still manipulate the E6000 for a little while, which is kind of why I like it. It doesn't dry. Like right away. Okay, so we are at the end. We're at the end of our rope. <laughs> I know, I, I, I make stupid little jokes. <laughs> well, that's part of the fun. Okay, I don't like whatever that is. Alright, so that looks good. Let us go ahead and we will tie this off. I'm going to tie it off back here. I'm just going to make a knot. And I don't know if I want to leave that tail on there or not, but probably I won't. I'll decide later on. I might just put one more little one more little tie in there if I didn't measure. And then I'll probably just trim that off. I think I would like to have it trimmed off. I don't think it needs to hang down or anything like that. Okay. Now, that is cute. There it is so far. Okay, and so now, what I'm going to do is, I've got this chain here. And I'm probably going to try to do this as I go, because this is so... Thin. I don't want to make a total disastrous mess with it. So, what I'm going to do, that won't even show when it's dry. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it here in the back. And I'm going to put a little dot of hot glue to hold it in place.
and I'm just going to kind of wrap it at an angle like this. Making sure that my pearls are facing up. We're going for a little line here. When that glue dries, it's not going to show. Periodically placing a dot of hot glue so that it stays put while we're wrapping. The E6000 is going to hold it in place, guys, but we need a little dot of hot glue to keep it while we're wrapping it. Okay, and I think that's where I'm going to stop. So I'm going to snip it right here. A little dab of hot glue there to hold that end. All right. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break and get some of this glue off of my fingers and let the things I've already applied set for a minute. And then um, when I come back, we will finish this up. All right, most of the sticky is off my fingers now, so we're going to keep working with this. And now I'm going to, um, this has had a chance to set up a little bit. So we're going to keep working with it. I'm going to go ahead and set it up right so I can see where I want to put things. And I'm going to start with this, our little chain. And I'm going to just I kind of now I'm going to put this about right here. That's where I want to put it. So I'm going to put some E6000 on it to hold it. And I'm going to put a dot of glue up here too. To keep that where I want it to be. I'm just going to hold it down a second till it sets up. So I'm going to start placing my flowers around. Eh. Not everywhere.
you're gonna mess with this again. <laughs> it happens. I'm gonna try to hold these so that they don't, you know, so you can kind of see where I'm putting these things and while well, it sets. Now remember, I kind of want to go down this way, so I'm going to start placing some of my things this direction. And let's see, do I want a blingy here? Got the blingy further down, so I'm going to continue on with my flowers. I'm going to remember to put my cat back on my glue. a little bit longer. That one was being a little stubborn. I'm trying to decide where I want this one. Do I want it to go here? Or do I want it to go more back here? I think I like it there, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it there. This is made kind of tricky, so I've got to get this around the outside edge here. So that that stays put. But I'm also going to put a little bit here and here. And I'm going to put a major glue dot here so that I can stick it down good. I'm going to tuck that under there and then hold that in place until it sets. I really don't want that to go anywhere. I want it to stay right where it is. And that's pretty.
Okay, I love that. I think that's really pretty. We're going to keep going. I'm going to put some purple in there. Let's see what I'm doing. I just placed this one. Kind of see how I'm kind of going on around this way. And I'm going to start wrapping it around this way a little bit so that everything's not up there in the front. Trying to get on my glue strings. <laughs> glue just gets everywhere, y'all. I mean, it just gets everywhere. Every, everywhere. That's looking so pretty. Okay. This one back here, or do I want it up here? I think I want it right there, so that's where I'm going to put it. Oh, I hope hold those in place too. <laughs> those in place for a second. And I like to save these for last because then I can just kind of tuck them in different little places. Um, I leave a little bit of stem on these to kind of help them stay where I put them. It 
it's easier to tuck them in like that. And you can kind of see where I just tucked that in there. Okay. I'm just going to go find some more tuck spots. For these little guys. And here we are so far. That one's not staying down good. Tuck that one in there with him. I had to re-glue him anyway. There we go. Okay, so far so good. Really pretty. This one's a little shorter. here. Blue string is everywhere, yo. Oh my goodness. Okay. And we just got a couple more of these to tuck in. I'm going to tuck one there. We'll make it fit. And that one can go up there. Yep, that's pretty. Okay, so far that's what we have with our little roses everywhere. Now we just have a couple of more little blingies to put on here. So I've got this little dragonfly. And I'm probably going to put him right here. That looks like a good spot for him. Put a good dot of glue on there to hold him down. 
I got too much glue. <laughs> too much E6000. So what I'm going to do is maybe try to brush some of that down under. So it doesn't show so much. Which I think will work. We want him to stick on there good, so we don't really want to take, you know, too much glue off. Because he's going to need that glue to stay on there. Alright, that looks pretty. I like it. I love it. And now I've got to pick a spot for my butterfly. My little purple butterfly. We've got a butterfly here. We've got a thing there. Yeah, I'll see if I can stick this one right there. That might be pretty. It's a little bit long, so let's trim this a hair. I'm going to see what this does if I stick that down in there. Okay, that's really pretty. It makes it kind of look 3D, so we're going to do that. I'm going to put P6000 on it. And I'm making a mess. And I'm going to put some glue on there too, hot glue to hold it. And I'm going to stick that down in there. And hold it until it sets. And that's really pretty. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay. I really, really, really like that. Okay, now. What we're going to do next is, I mean, we're pretty much done with gluing, but now what I want to do, because I antiqued the bottle, I want to antique some of this lace here. And so I'm going to go around with my Tim Holtz again, especially the white, and I'm just going to go around like the edges. And you'll see this will make a big difference. gonna help this look more antique -y. Don't forget your danglies there. Gotta get some on there too. Okay, and we're gonna go around the edge of our butterfly even. Butterfly wings. We'll do him even a little bit and this guy here. Okay, really pretty. And this purple guy. And our little white one back here. Okay, that's really pretty. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Okay, a little bit on that wing there. A little bit on this wing. Okay, now I love that. I think that's really, really pretty. But I'm going to do one more thing. And what I'm going to do is I want to use my glitter on certain parts of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some triple thick. And I don't have anything this on so I'm just gonna put it on some of this saran wrap that I have sitting out here and we're not gonna use a whole lot just a little bit and I'm gonna get my little uh, skinny brush you might need a little more than that I got that at Michael's y'all they periodically have those little ones you can get it on Amazon too but I 
I don't use a whole lot of it, so I don't get a ton of it. I just get the little ones. And what I like to do is go over my little flower petals. Just the outside little edges here, especially. And we'll fix it and make a big old mess. Okay, and I'm going to shake some glitter on our little flowers. I'm going to glitter by the flowers. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Now look, that's beautiful. And I also like to do that to some of the lace and butterflies. So I'm going to get out just a little bit more. And I'm going to kind of go over the little corners of this butterfly wing. The glue strand there that I don't like. And then I'm going to shake, shake some glitter on there. It off. And look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. And I'm going to do the same thing with this butterfly. Each butterfly, I'm just going to kind of go around the edge of these wings. Put some spectra on there. <laughs> See what I mean? It looks like German glass glitter, but it's not. It's plastic. It's so amazing. Okay, and some for this guy up here. Got something on that. Get it off. I'm not making a big mess with this. I do sweep this up. I don't waste it. <laughs> I sweep it up and put some of it back and we're going to do a little bit on this guy here too. We know he's already kind of blingy around but we need extra bling. In my opinion, can't have too much bling. Well, you probably could, but <laughs> now when that dries, you know, that glue, you know, that it's going to be clear and it's going to be gorgeous. So we'll give it a little bit to dry and I got to get all these glue strings off. I'm probably going to go around the bottom of this too a little bit. It can't hurt, can it? No, it can't because glitter is good. We love glitter. Love glitter. So let's just kind of go around the edges of these two while we're at it. Just for fun. Just for fun. Okay, glitter, glitter, glitter. Okay, that's pretty. It looks gorgeous, but we do need to let this dry. This is our front. We need to let it dry, and then I'll go through and get all the glue strings off. And then I'm going to set this down for a second and show you guys what I mean about these lights that I got. Once this dries, I'm going to put the lights in, and I'm also going to cut out a small circle of felt and glue that to the bottom of the jar because I don't. I want the light and I said I was going to go over the reason for that. And it's because I want the light to stay in the bottle. I don't want the light leaking out underneath the bottle. So I'm going to put some felt around, just, just around the bottom, you know, just to kind of contain the light inside the bottle. 
and then I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna cork it with our uh, bottle lights here these I got on Amazon and this was what I was going to show you I don't really like these the ones that they sell at Hobby Lobby are much better quality these are kind of cheap like you know when you're stretching them out and stuff they tend to sometimes they just don't work by the time you get them stuck in there and you have to kind of adjust them a little bit um, and they have three settings they have an on they have a fast blink and then they have a slow blink and so that's what's kind of cool about them I just kind of like the on function the always on but you can do whatever you want they're just you know just know that if you order them on Amazon that you know the quality may be a little iffy um, the ones at Hobby Lobby are more expensive because they're almost like four dollars a, a pop for these but the quality is better you get a better quality light and the batteries are replaceable in both kinds so um, now if you order them on Amazon these come with extra batteries which is nice because if you're giving it to somebody you can give them an extra battery too um, but like I said the quality is a little iffy so you decide for yourself what you want to do but this is what I have so this is what I'm gonna use and um, whenever this gets dry I will take some photos and uh, well we might just go ahead and see what it looks like I don't know if you can see with all the lights on in here and it's not gonna be as pretty you know until it gets dry I can tell you that right now it's always it's always much prettier when it's dry um but we'll see what this does because I just want to see you know how it is when you make something and you just can't wait to see what it looks like that's me can't wait gotta see it now I don't have my felt on there yet and it'll look better after I get the felt on there not me you know I'm gonna take a picture and show you all what it looks like final product okay that's in there you can see what it looks like all corked up hopefully you know I've got a good enough camera angle for you to see that and then we turn those on and you can kind of see it's really pretty and there's the blink function there's the slow blink and there's the off and there's the lights and I'll kind of dim the lights too and take a picture of it um, but this is this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous when it gets dry Al takes pictures and I'll show you okay thank you guys for joining me today I hope you decide to try this it was kind of a lengthy little video but there was a lot of steps in here and of course you know you can omit any of the steps that I did if you just don't want to go this far with it but it does make a beautiful bottle so um, just you know make your own I always encourage you guys to be yourselves make your own thing do your own thing and uh, I hope the main thing is just to enjoy what you're doing um, because that's what crafting is about it's it's really my love I really this is my relaxation and I hope it is for you too and I will see you guys next time okay thank you bye bye